What's up guys? I wanted to come on here and do something special uh, to honor the 1995 uh, Atlanta Braves World Championship since we are reliving those glory days and something special to end a fantastic 24th birthday. No birthday is created equal, but this has been a super, super special one for me. So many messages and a Red Lobster dinner takeout, obviously, but just absolutely amazing spending it with my family, cherry on top, and then being able to uh, relive uh, live for me, actually, because I wasn't thought of yet. So it was a nice treat, uh, game one of the 95 World Series, and watch Greg Maddox and Oral Hershiser uh, ma two master craftsmen at throwing a baseball. It was absolutely incredible to watch. And what Greg Maddox was able to do against Murderer's Row, that was the 95 Cleveland Indian lineup was just a masterpiece and fabulous to watch. Uh, have a complete game in your first World Series appearance and not look like you broke a sweat. It's just something to behold. And it looked like he was playing pitch and catch the entire game and didn't let uh, the bugaboos on defense face him whatsoever. Uh, four strikeouts, a million ground balls, and uh, outfielders were optional. They were just expensive spectators for the majority of the game. And that's how Greg Maddox wanted things to go. And uh, he was able to limit the damage on the uh, Raphael Belliard air on the first pitch of the game. It was a hot smash by Kenny Lofton, but I think Belliard's nerves and it being the first uh, play in the World Series and him having to sub in for an injured Jeff Blauser all played into it. Let him, he let the ball play him a bit and it, uh, and he booted it and then Kenny Lofton was able to exploit the one weakness that Greg Maddox had, which was holding on base base runners and Kenny Lofton with 54 stolen bases uh, added two uh, relatively easily except uh, the stolen base of third was a uh, he just outran the baseball a great throw and sometimes speed uh, kills and that's exactly what happened and then a ground ball so it's one to nothing Indians and then Fred McGriff quickly flipped the script on that with one of the few mistakes Oral Hershiser made the entire night, uh, a meatball and Fred McGriff killed it and sent it into the night uh, for solo shot. Um, his first World Series appearance at, or at bat, um, hit a homer, just absolutely amazing. The only other crime is the fact that he's not in the Hall of Fame. Don't know how that's possible. Still mind boggling to this day. And then Oral Hershiser and Greg Maddox just uh, said, what you can do, I can do better. Because Oral Hershiser at one point retired nine in a row and Greg Maddox retired 12 in a row after the uh, Bell Yard error. Just absolutely amazing. Um, and then the only, uh, the first hit Greg Maddox gave up was a flare single right over third base uh, to Jim Tomey. It wasn't even a bad pitch right on the outside corner where Greg Maddox lived, just flare single, and they weren't able to parlay that into anything. And the action didn't pick up again until the seventh when Oral Hershiser for some reason lost the plate. And I think the Greg Maddox factor played big in that because you have to be uh, precise on every single pitch because you know if you make a mistake, and you're facing Greg Maddox, who makes little to none, uh, you could lose the ball game on one pitch. And I think that mental fatigue and uh, he just kind of lost uh, the feeling in his curveball and fastball. And we took advantage for two straight walks. Fred McGriff, who got him earlier on the homer, and uh, David Justice, and then the pinch hitter, walked bases loaded, no outs, and again, proving the uh, adage in old adage in baseball, if you walk people, you are going to pay. In 1995, 2000, 2019, it doesn't really matter. If that happens, you are going to pay. And the Braves made him, made the Indians pay. They brought in the reliever, and he promptly walked the bases loaded. And then you've got the uh, hot smash 
to Omar Vescal, a terrible call by the umpire. He never had control of that, but they called the force out, and Fred McGriff almost made a bonehead um, on the tweener line drive, a bonehead play, uh, breaking back towards third base. If Omar Vescal had caught that ball, who knows what would have happened on a line. But that was actually one of my favorite parts of the game, even though we got screwed. It was my favorite part because Bobby Cox running out there and chewing out an umpire makes my heart happy as a Braves fan. And we were still up two to one. And then first and third, one out. Raphael Belliard executes a perfect uh, squeeze play. The entire ballpark knew it was coming. Belliard is, spe is his specialty was the small ball, executed it perfectly. David Justice broke perfectly. Three to one. And then uh, Greg Maddox was able to close it out in the ninth, despite giving up a single to Kenny Lofton, who advanced to second, third, second and third on a ground ball. It was actually a boneheaded play by Lofton, but it worked out because of the errant throw by McGriff. And then um, he was able to get Manny Ramirez to pop out to end the game and uh, uh, end game one for us. Chipper Jones, great run and play. There was a lot of great defense by Chipper Limpke, to name a few. So it was a pure uh, baseball purist magical game to watch and that was fantastic and now we are going to cheers to uh age 24 and as always go for it uh love you guys thank you for all the birthday wishes it was absolutely amazing